In this column, I've got dates with times, and I want to split those into a date column and a time column. I'll show you a quick way to do that and a warning about what to watch for. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. To split the dates quickly, I'm going to use Excel's Flash Fill feature. Maybe you've used this with text before, like a column full of dates. I could type Jan and then start typing Feb, and the Flash Fill automatically suggests what it could be. I just press Enter, and it fills it all down. It works a little differently with dates and numbers. Here, I'm going to type the first and second dates. Nothing happens, but if I use the shortcut for Flash Fill, which is Control E, it fills it all down nicely. I can do the same with the time. I'll type the first two times, and then Control E, and it fills them down. I check, everything looks fine. I've got the same dates and times on a different sheet, but for this I used a built-in format that shows the date, as month, day, and a two-digit year. When I do the dates here, and then do my shortcut, Control E, gives wrong results. These aren't real dates. So it set the pattern with a single digit month and year. Then when it got to this two-digit date, it just gave up. And the same with the July date, where there's a two-digit day. And then we get into the two-digit months, and these are not dates. We can see that it's 10-1-0-25. If you're going to use this technique, be sure that you're using a four-digit year if you want things to go smoothly.